right, kids. So what did we just see go by right there? That was the four the four line you seen go by. A lot of well known riders. Tracy, Peanut, Cliff 159, Mark with 98, Cope later on, um, Fuzz One, me, myself, uh, Pell do it well. All these big riders came from this line and a lot of these old school riders back in the day. They went to a school called Dewitt Clinton, which is right behind me to my right. Marty's Donut Shop was on the corner to my left. And all the guys from Clinton would go there. And there was a pizza shop and a donut shop. They would do all kinds of black books. I mean, all the big, big writers, man. You know, you'd see them on the um, Phase 2, Riff, Peanut 2. Peanut 2, he, he was from 80, actually. He would hang out by 80 in that area. But all these big writers would come here and, they, and people would get their black book signed. It was the only spot that you can get them all at one time besides 149th Street, the writer's bench. And this area right here, this was our writer's bench at one time. We grew up in this neighborhood. And um, we would always hang out here, man. We would go down the block. The foyer was right over here. We would peace over there. And then um, we'd come back, we'd hang out, and we'd just hang out and just watch our pieces go by, man. It was, it was the thing back then, you know? It was our neighbor. We would shoot hoops up the block. It was a good area to grow up in back in the day. And there was a lot of history with, with writers here also, you know? Who are some of the guys that you looked up to, kid? Who were some of the pioneers? The pi pioneers back in the day, Tracy with 68. Um, Pina 2 was a, a big writer here also. Cliff 159 did a lot of damage. Comet, of course Comet. I mean, Comet, he, he destroyed things. Blade. These were the writers I was, I was watching come up. Pell do it well. Bot 707 was doing a lot of work on the four line. He came over from the six line. You guys like that, you know, you've seen their stuff rolling by and you wanted to go up and do your own thing, man. Just as good as them or try to do better than them. And then, and then when you've seen it, when you've seen stuff, like when I would see stuff come by over here on this line, the four line, I see a new piece done, I'm going racking up, man. I want to get paint because I want to try to do just as good as them or even better. So you're like the mid-70s, me and Mark, we, we destroyed this line, man. We had this line. Regardless of what anybody says, man, we had this line in the mid-70s. This is, this is our writer's bench right here. Up. Huh? Where, basically where you guys would all meet up and shit. Yeah, this is where we met. We met because this is where we hung out and this was our neighborhood. But this is, the, this is actually where we sat and watched a lot of our pieces go by. They were the blue and silvers back then when we were piecing. The blue and silvers were really, I mean, that's, that's the, the stamp of, of graffiti was the blue and silvers. That was after the Redbirds. And um, once the Blue and Silvers came out, it was, it was over, man. Everybody was tearing that, them things up, man. It was, it was a beautiful line here, this four line. Anybody who hit the four line and got up, they were well known. People knew who they were. All right, kid, where are we at right here, man? This is Junior High School 80. This is um, one of the schools a lot of writers went to. They would meet up here also um we were cut out of school a lot and i didn't actually go here i went to junior high school 45 but i hung out with everybody and all the writers like fuzz one went here mark 98 went here um mitch 77 went here you know a whole slew of writers man and also had a lot of big actors going there penny marshall went here calvin klein you know all this just a lot of history here and um we had all these walls here at the time too. We would hang out here after school. You know, we would party here and you know, he got walls here. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna piece on them. You know, there's a wall back here. Um, if you look, you see there's a wall in the back there by that yellow house. And there was a, there was a big, there's three pieces back there. A, a peanut two, a ton of five and a vin. And uh, they did their thing, man. This was this was like 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 a, a little um. Rochambeau and Van Cortland. Rochambeau, yeah, Rochambeau and Van Cortland, yeah. But actually, I think the school's address is Mashula Park because the front entrance is down there. We would shoot hoops here, you know, play basketball, peace. This is our yard, man. Back in the day. Okay, man. We're we're here at the two yard. Exactly, yeah. In the Bronx, right? In the Bronx, yes. Right Tell off the two. Tell me a little bit about this spot. This, this yard, um, 
was in the North Bronx. This is where we used to come. We had um, crew members that lived around 238th Street. They were the 238th Street boys, the MG boys. Billy Nine, rest in peace, MS-161, rest in peace. They were in our crew. A lot of writers hung out here. You had uh, Charlie Lai, Tav, John 150, and all these guys, being that they were from the neighborhood, they were coming here and wreck shit. So every time we would come up here, you know, we want to see if the yard was hot or not. Sometimes we'd hook up with Nine. He was uh, one of the MG boys, or MS. Being that they were in the neighborhood, they were always around this area, they would tell us, you know, it was good to go in there. Boots was in there. Vic 161 would come in there every now and then. Um, John 150, do two. Comet, Comet was in here a lot too. He rocked a lot of two trains in here. And you know, I had guys from the four line that would come here too every once in a while. The thing was, in this neighborhood sometimes, when we would come here, we would have to watch out for the neighbors too, because when we were walking around with bags of paint, like, like 9, 10 o'clock at night, with shopping bags, we looked suspicious, even to the neighbors. But this was this was a nice spot, man, to come in, just, just, just wreck shit. You can bomb all these trains. And I've got raided in here like two or three times also. But you know, it's, it, the yard is open and everything, and we would we'd get away all the time, man. Climb over the fence or whatever. So it's just like a, also a hangout for a lot of gangs, man. The, the Golden Guineas would hang out here. So you have to have look out for them too, man. Look out for also gangs, street gangs in here when you were coming here. But this was, uh, this was our area here. And as you can see the two train right now, it's, it's pulling into the yard. It's coming from White Plains Road. This was our thing, man. This is, this is one of our yards too we bombed. These trains run all the way into Manhattan. Yeah, these trains go from uh, Bronx into Manhattan into Brooklyn. This was sick. These things are seeing three boroughs. Yeah, it was, yes. A lot of the two fives and fours, they would see three boroughs. That's why we hit them also. They would run long. Sometimes this yard would really get hot, man. And, and you couldn't go in there, man. If you went in there, man, you were getting raided or chased or whatever. And, and good luck trying to get away, man. But this is one of our yards that we we did our thing in here, man. We, we sure did, man, back in the day from the 70s.